Hey, hey everyone. This week's parent update is here. So glad to have you joining me for this week's parent update. I'm going to be updating you on the things going on in the kids ministry so that way you know what is happening. We started this last week and we had some people watch it. Uh, so for those of you who watched it, thank you. I hope you felt informed and you know a little bit more of what's going on. Uh, also, if you have any questions, feel free to comment them or email me. Let me know and I would love to answer those questions for you. Now, this last Sunday, we had a family Sunday, and I had a few people come to me and ask me a little bit about what family Sunday is and why we do it. So I figured I would address that. Family Sunday is important to us because we believe that it's important for kids to see the example of their parents in worship, and not just in worship like singing and things like that, but just in worship of God, of being at church and being obedient to being in church and having that kind of mindset that being in church is a good thing and it's helpful and it is what God calls us to do. So every now and then we do family Sundays for that reason, uh, to make sure people know and to make sure kids know that it's important to have those things. I told a parent on Sunday that parents are the primary spiritual influence in a kid's life. I can do all that I want for your kids, and I do everything I can for your kids. But at the end of the day, your kids are going to be much more influenced by what you do than what I do. And so we want to provide that opportunity every so often to have kids see the example of their parents. So obviously, since it was Family Sunday, we didn't have any kids, though. We will continue our series, Spread the Word, which focuses on how we can share Jesus with other people and not just spreading the word of the Bible, but spreading the news about Jesus to everybody. Uh, I use the idea of like spreading butter on your toast to the kids. Uh, so that might be a good one to help them uh, have and understand that, you know, you want to spread God's word uh, all around the world, just like how we spread butter on toast, and they seem to understand that a little bit with that. Uh, as far as we kids, we continued on our Voice in the Night series, continuing to talk about uh, the prayer and focusing on that. Uh, the month's memory verse comes from Psalm 55, 17, and it says, Morning, noon, and night, the Lord hears my voice. And the monthly Bible point, it stays the same all month long because it helps reinforce it, for the preschoolers, it says, I can pray all night, all day. So we really want to enforce that idea that we can pray and God is always listening to us. That's what we want to really reinforce with our preschoolers right now, is that anytime you want to go to God to pray to him, anytime you're ready for that, anytime God wants to hear from us, and it's important that we have him hear from us. Now, going on from that, we have a few things that I'd just like to address. If you notice, um, the online family content has changed a little bit. I'm no longer in them. Um, I was looking at how many people were watching them and trying to see if anybody would contact me about them. I didn't get much engagement from that, so I decided to post the v lesson videos that your kids watch on Sundays. Um, and so I won't be in the videos, but your kids can still watch those. Those will be on the website. Uh, Sunday school is restarting for some classes. If your class has restarted and you would like to go, but you need child care, if you need somebody to watch your children during that, we are more than open to doing that. We would love to do that again, uh, but we just want to make sure that that is happening. So if you would, please let me or Brenda know if you need child care uh, during Sunday school again, and we would be more than happy to do that. The reason we've held off for now is we don't want to have childcare if nobody's going to send their children. So we understand right now things are weird with coronavirus and things aren't the same for a lot of people. So uh, if you are committed to coming to Sunday school and you want your kids to go to Sunday school here at the church, let us know. and We will be happy to start that back up once we know that we will have kids. Um, moving on from there, if you have not signed up for the parent email yet, there is a link in the post here. Just uh, click that link and you can sign up to receive that. I send out emails uh, once a week, uh, maybe sometimes once every other week, just kind of depends on how much information needs to be shared. Um, and then moving on from there, we have a family Sunday coming up again on the 11th. So uh, since there's less people in the building right now, there's less volunteers. Um, so for at least this month and next, we need to have a family Sunday, but we are starting to get more volunteers. So those of you who stepped up, we really, really 
appreciate that. Uh, and then Chalk the Church is on September 26th. That is a Saturday at noon. I'm going to have a bunch of chalk paint. We're going to have a great time painting chalk, doing all kinds of things in the parking lot. And hopefully, if it doesn't rain or anything, your kids can see it when they come back the next day. On Sunday, um, October 23rd, that's a Friday at 6 o'clock, we'll be having a kids' ministry bonfire. You're free to bring the entire family, but we ask that uh, only families who have kids between the ages of three years old and fifth grade attend. But you're free to bring your entire family if you would like to. We'll have hot dogs, we'll have s'mores, we'll have all kinds of fun things, and we'll be doing our absolute best to make sure that those who are serving have gloves on and we're being safe, we're being uh, good about those different things. And the last thing I want to share is our gingerbread house building night is on December 4th at 6 p.m. Again, that's a Friday. Uh, that worked really, really re well last time. Felt like a lot of people enjoyed it. So we want to try and have that again. Uh, whatever we have to do in the gym, socially distant or whatever, we will do everything we can to make that happen. All right. I don't see any questions so far, but if you have any questions, I will answer them later on. Feel free to comment. I really appreciate everyone who watched this uh, and tuned in for it. I hope you all have a wonderful day and let me know if you ever need anything. Thanks.